Nigerians react as the Twitter CEO Jack Dozy uses three Nigerian flags on page. Jack Dozy, the co-founder and CEO of Twitter Incorporation, has raised the number of Nigerian flags on his Twitter handle to three. On June 12, the Twitter CEO tweeted the Nigerian flag in support of the country's Democracy Day. The reaction of Twitter users who noticed the spike are listed below. Waribo Nwachuku said, Jack Dozy stands with Nigerian youth because he knows daring lies the energy of tech, innovation and creativity. Nigerian youth are the beacon of hope. The only drawback is bad leadership. Will reclaim its glory with the burden youth as Africa giant. According to hashtag Jack Dozy stands with Nigerian youth because he knows therein lies the energy for tech and innovation creativity. Nigerian youth are the beacon of hope. The only drawback is bad leadership, which is very true. And Nigerian youth will reclaim its glory with the burden youth. And according to Waribo Umwa Chuku, Dana Sabe Magaji noted that Dozy's actions should not be seen as winning Nigerian youth. Jack has lost big time in his investment. He realized how important Niger or Nigeria is, even he chooses Ghana. The suspension shook the hell out of him. He has been lobbying the federal government since that suspension. He could have tweeted Biafra's flag, though. Hmm. Well, according to this person, says, dude is not about you too. Jack has lost it big time in his investments. I don't believe Jack really lost, you know, the investment in Nigeria. Because I believe Nigeria is just a minority compared to the world. Have you forgotten that Jack Dozy's Twitter is all over the world? It's not even limited to Nigeria alone. Well, it is not about making him a billionaire, but about the financial gain. Yes, he acquired in Nigeria. He knows his eyes are clear now. If not, why lobbying for the federal government while flash Nigerian flags in solidarity with the Nigerian government? He keeps lobbying and doing eye service. Well, Jack, Jack, I commend you for using your platform to support Nigeria, but kindly do the same for other countries going through similar and worse crises by creating awareness. By the way, it will be appreciated if the Twitter team can work on the platform to enable Nigerians to use the platform without VPN. Tayo Easy stressed that Jack constantly posting about Nigeria is not because of his love for Nigerians but rather his selfish interest. Many African countries out there are having it worse. Post them to Una. Yukechuku Umadike believes Jack is doing a great job. Freedom is all what we need and all what we want. Also note, in Biafra and Urudua Republic, your business empire will flourish. Nigerian owners, nomadic Fulanis, don't use Western innovation, but only eradicate them. Google the time. Sona, you would be surprised. Sovereign Smith said, where was this energy and support when Uganda was going through the same situation Nigeria is facing currently? Last, last, we are all ass lickers in one way or the other. Abdullah Nuhu noted that Mark Zuckerberg is more clever than you. I read his post in which he promised to make windows for politicians. So many reactions have been trading. So many people are, you know, of the opinion to support what Jack Dozy has done by, you know, you know, pleading or lobbying for Twitter to be brought back to Nigeria. But come to think of it, uh, Jack Dozy has not lost anything concerning uh, money or wherever but normally if you as a company or you have a company and uh, you have a little challenge in your company you want to fix it it's more or less like uh, you have 100 sheep or ram or cattle and one gets missing you want to use all effort to get you know to uh, get hold of the missing cow that is very normal that doesn't mean you are broke or you have grown bankrupt or you are gone bankrupt it doesn't mean so if you are of the opinion of, of the mocking or by mocking um jack uh, uh dozy you know by losing nigeria uh, losing twitter to nigeria it does not really matter but what he's doing is just for him to regain back the you know uh, regain back Nigeria as a whole. For him to have, you know, taken Twitter to Ghana as a Twitter headquarter uh, in Africa to Ghana is just just because of our bad leadership and you know our bad leadership governance concerning insecurity. You don't have a company 
or a business you know venture in a country that is not safe that is security that having security challenges you don't do that you know as a human being let's forget about sentiment nigeria is facing a whole lot of security challenges all over so that's why twitter you know took uh, its headquarter to uh, ghana because ghana is peaceful as it is now uh-huh. so if you are reacting towards this i believe it's your opinion though well everybody is entitled to their opinion i'll be reading some other comments below obasui says how many population of nigeria are to the world that will make the ceo of twitter incorporation to lose no the stupidity uh, stupidity of nigerians is that they never realize that nigeria is nobody to the world in aspect of technology and economy hmm well are you so daft and naive or you are disoriented if ninja is not important why is twitter now crawling or you think ninja is one imaginary expression like the afra mm, this person reacting i believe is a northern well according to jacob says i love what this man is doing the guy supports Nigerian youth more than the government. For Twitter to get a soft landing with Nigerian government, Jack has to recline his decision to relocate his regional headquarters from Ghana back to Nigeria. That's a problem bottom line. Hmm. Right, well, that's your opinion, uh, you know, laying your comments. But uh, I don't think he's doing it to make any money or asking for any favor from Nigeria. He's concerned. He is concerned about the future of Nigeria, which are the youth, because most youth are making money through Twitter. And Jack Dozi also is gaining from it, but that doesn't make him a loser, or that doesn't make his company go bankrupt. He's just doing it in favor of the youth of Nigeria and also his company. Nigerians are uh, brain illiterate. Uh, allow him mean what he says. Assumption is the mother of all sucks. You can't assume it, uh, what someone is doing or someone hope. Please, any submission without substantial uh, you know, results must be cast off without um, a good result. Okay, I don't know what this person is talking about, mediocrity. Well, did he support the youth when the Twitter was working medicine after death? Well, he's just making jest of our shameless leader. Did you see him comment at all? He's laughing them. Well, Josie is of the opinion that if Nigeria would accept his Twitter again, then everybody is going to be win-win for every Nigerian and for the government. Well, I believe this our Nigerian government, they are so lopsided and they have nothing to offer. That is why Jack Dozy is just, you know, laughing at them. Well, I would like you to share your opinion and also don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get notification as soon as, you know, concurrent news comes in. Thanks for listening and God bless.